So I study supermassive black holes at the centres of galaxies. There's an ongoing effort to try and study uh, exactly how these black holes uh, grow in mass over a certain period of time. By definition, they are black because not even light can escape them. And so uh, a supermassive black hole that's not uh, accreting material are very, very difficult to actually see. And so it's an open question at the moment, what do they typically look like when, or look like, um, when they um, go from a stellar mass black hole, so these are black holes that are just a, a few times the mass of the sun, to the supermassive black holes that we see in the centre of the galaxy. So material is spiralling into the supermassive black hole on the very central, smallest scales in, uh, um, imaginable around the supermassive black hole. That was actually what was in the, the recent image from the Event Horizon Telescope. That glowing disk is, is matter literally infalling into the supermassive black hole. And so as that happens, you sometimes get outflows of material, and these outflows are so energetic that they can impact the growth of the surrounding host galaxy. When you actually think about the size scales of supermassive black holes <laughs> inside a host galaxy, it's equivalent to a microbe affecting the, the growth of the Earth. So I study the highest energy x-rays that these central accreting supermassive black holes are it, and because they're so high energy, they're able to penetrate through all those thick layers of gas and dust that normally absorb the, the wavelengths that we're used to um, uh, seeing these sources at. And it's equivalent to actually trying to view the, the sun through a thundercloud or trying to shine a flashlight through fog. My work has been able to show that um, even our uh, uh, galaxies that are, metaphorically speaking, in our cosmic neighbourhood are still um, uh, growing and actively accreting material um, that we did not know about previously. If we traverse that back in time, we can potentially show uh, the evolutionary steps that are in process to be able to uh, generate the galaxies that we see today.